I am Brittany Long and I just wanted to maybe give you a brief overview of why I might be the perfect coach for you. Um, I know that people kind of get overwhelmed with picking the perfect coach and I just wanted to let you know um, kind of a bit about me and my journey. Uh, as a teenager, I and growing up really, I was extremely active. I played sports, I did competitive gymnastics and power tumbling, and also did softball and cheerleading. So I was very active. To me, I had no idea that I was really exercising. I loved being active. I had a hard time holding still and conditioning at, you know, gymnastics and everything. Um, so when I was about 15, I slipped into a really, really scary depression um, and suffering from severe anemia. And while I was in the doctor's office for this, he kind of crushed me, really. He kind of crushed my soul and my confidence. I was laying on the exam room table and I was by no means... Um, overweight or fat. I, like I said, was active. I was extremely muscly, extremely muscular legs from tumbling. And yes, I might've had a little pooch or fat carrying on my stomach, but I was active and healthy. And I remember he was examining my um, abdomen and he kind of just patted my stomach and was like, you know, sweetheart, it was back in the days, you know, it was really beautiful and men loved when women were uh, bigger and curvier and heavier, but that's just not the way it is, and I'm just concerned for you. That, like I said, crushed me. It killed me, and being 15 years old and being told that it's by a doctor, I mean, it tore me apart. Um, so that's when I really kind of had a this self-image in my head of someone I didn't love. And I struggled for a really long time with that, you know. I tried everything I could at a young age, and I by no means had an extreme eating disorder, but I struggled with a relationship with food. Um, you know, I would sit and cry about having a cookie. And I luckily had a very amazing and supportive family who continued to help me build my confidence and remind me of the person that I was. And I finally just decided, no, I'm not going to let somebody else's opinion determine who I am. I know I'm beautiful from the inside out and I will fight to be that person. And I thank God that I did that. Um, but it's a continued journey of reminding myself of who I am. And so I've been in that scary place. Um, and I've been there again. Uh, you know, I fast forward and I have, um, I got pregnant with my son and the whole time through my pregnancy, I just remember thinking like, oh, when I, after I have this baby, I'm going, I'm hitting the gym hard. I'm going to be on this amazing diet. I'm going to have like a ripped six pack. Like, oh, after he comes, it is on. Like, I'm going to have the best body ever. <laughs> And, you know, I was determined, and after I had him, I was lucky enough to get P90X, and I started P90X, and I loved P90X, um, it reminded me very much of, like, my athletic training, and I would do P90X after my son would go to bed, and I would do it for two weeks and then dwindle off, and then do it again and dwindle off, and, you know, um, my eating wasn't very clean. We were a struggling family and so I kind of made do with what we had and the casseroles and the soups. Um, so I did that for about a year just kind of on and off uh, and then I really started to discover kind of clean eating and the power of clean eating and just eating healthy and that was a process for me of learning what worked for my body and really knowing the difference between everything um, and getting on that journey. Yeah. So as I was doing that, I kind of started posting pictures on Instagram because I loved seeing the pictures and just sharing. I'm such a foodie and love food, so I loved sharing my creations that I was coming up with, just really simple ingredients, um, and then also sharing my journey as far as working out with my son. And I was contacted by my coach who introduced, you know, the fact that there's these coaches and 
challenge groups that I could join and I had no idea that that was even an option and so I was just ecstatic to have that. So I actually joined um, a challenge group along with starting my coaching because I just had that passion and burning in my heart to want to do it. Um, and that's really when it shifted for me was I started the 21 day fix with the, you know, the 30 minute workouts were, were doable for me, um, really keying in on my nutrition and learning the portions and the eating and having an eating plan to follow. It really was just a great place for me to start, um, and learn to love that healthy lifestyle. So I had amazing results with it. And then, um, you know, life happens and I was still exercising and still eating really well um, but my eating wasn't where it should be for me personally um, and my exercising wasn't as frequent as it should be as well and so I found myself in that dark scary place again for me I have suffered from depression and anxiety um, and it it's scary and it sucks and for me as a mom and a wife I don't ever want to be there because it starts reflecting on my happiness and me not being happy, you know, makes me snappy with my boys. Um, and it just is really awful place to be and to feel so disgusting um, and just have everything weighing down on you. So I kind of had to take a step back again and look at, you know, what what was different from what I was doing when I felt so happy compared to where I am now, curled up in my closet crying. Um, and it really did come down to the fact that my eating wasn't where I wanted it to be. Um, I was indulging way too much. I wasn't keeping my workouts consistent, which was so important for me and my depression um, is to get the, that workout in. It's insane. Um, so it was like, okay, back on track. So I've been there. I've been in that awful place where you just feel gross and disgusting and depressed and worthless and you don't know where to start and it's so overwhelming. Um, but that's why I, I love the 21 day fix, uh, for that reason. I feel like it's a great place for people to start. It's a place where you can, um, learn. You can learn about the portions, the eating, what to eat, a 30 minute workout, which really, I mean, I know life's crazy, but 30 minutes, you can, you can find a way to get 30 minutes in. So I, I want to be able to help other women, other mom, other girls who have been in that dark, scary place, or maybe you're in that place and you just don't feel like you, you're feeling, um, lost and you don't know how to get back to where you were, I want to help you. I have been there. I've had the tears. I've gotten dressed and cried. I've eaten things and then thought, how the hell did I eat that all? I've been there. And I understand that. So I know what you're going through. And I know how hard it is. But the good news is, is there something out there for you? I can be here for you. I can remind you how truly amazing you are. I can find those positive things about you and have those outweigh the negatives to keep pushing and to figure out why you are doing this because you are worth it. You're worth it because the people around you are worth it for you to be the best you, you can. And I want everyone to feel that way. So I would love to help you if it's something you're looking into. I. I love being able to share this with other people because it's made such an impact on my life. The physical changes have been awesome, but those are kind of the perks. The mental changes for me and being where I am now, that's what I want people to feel. And like I said, when that kind of shifts and changes, then the physical changes come with it and it's incredible. So. If this is something that resonates with you or you feel like I'd be a great fit for you, please reach out to me and I would love to talk to you more. I would love to be able to hear, you know, your your journey about you, why you want to do it, and we can figure out if you and I would be a great fit and if we could find a program that would work for you or get you started on something. So I hope to hear from you 
and I look forward to chatting.